Hi there, today I want to talk about some really cool effects and things that you can do in the Photos app in Windows 10. Uh, things that I didn't even really know about. So I've got a, a video going on here, uh, and you can write over the top of the picture as well, but if I hover my stylus uh, near the screen, you can see I get these options here at the top. And so I can choose a pen, so I can change the color and thickness of the pen if I like as well. So let's just ramp that down a little bit. And what I can do is if I play the video, let me just pause it at a stage here. What I can do is just circle this. And if I hit the anchor thing here, so first of all, I can write on it, which is pretty cool. But there we go, and that lasts for a little bit of time there. But if I go back here and I hit the anchor, what I can then do is anchor this text that I put on the screen to the actual object. So if I play now, this anchors it onto that particular case person. And that, that um, ink will actually follow the object that you've, that you've written on, which is really, really cool. I didn't know you could do that. So you've got a, number, a few different pens, pencil, normal pen, pencil, and calligraphy pen. You can obviously get rid of it. But this anchor tool here is a really cool thing that I wanted to show you um, that you can do. So you could imagine you could do this with a, a sports video of someone playing sports. You could just highlight something, uh, maybe some feet movement or something that they're doing. Uh, you could write some text on there and circle it and it would actually follow it uh, as it goes through. So that's pretty cool. Second thing I wanted to show you is same in the Photos app. If I go custom video with music, and I did a video about this another time. So if I choose a video, so I've chosen the same video here. First of all, it wants me to name it. So I'll just give the video a quick name here. Now I can add all kinds of uh, photos and videos on here if I want to. And first thing you've got to do is just drag them into here. So if I just click and drag it in, and I can also get other pictures and stuff like that. And if I just click and drag them in as well. So I'm creating a storyboard down the bottom here. And it's really great because I can trim the video if I want to, if I uh, don't want all of the video if I just want the start of it so I can trim the end of the video out if I want Okay, so I'll just click done so I can change the clip length of their video and it's the same thing for this picture here I can decide how long I want that picture to appear on the screen for okay So it's got some suggested times, but I can put in whatever I want there All right, and then you can have a preview of the video up here once you got used once you've used all the uh, Once you've selected all of the videos and pictures you want you can just get rid of that and then I can see and have a look at what my project looks like. Now the thing that I wanted to show you here is, once we've selected the clip um, that we're looking at, so this, this clip here, I can go to 3D effects. So this is what I wanted to show you. There's some cool things you can do here. So we've got all these 3D effects sitting here that we can apply to my clip. So uh, campfire, butterflies, bubble overlay. To, to truly appreciate these, you have to like have a go and actually see them in action. Um, Let's just go for the Comet Trail for now. So if I just click and drag that onto the screen, you can see I can resize it. I can put it where it is that I want. I can move it around so it's pointing in different directions and all of that sort of thing. And really, this is the cool part, is I can attach this 3D effect to a point. So over here on the right, I'll just select that that's on. So now that anchor point, I can move around to, to select the object that this is going to be attached to. Now down the bottom of the clip, you can see how long that effect is going to last for. So I can lengthen that out um, to see so that you get this effect going for more than a few seconds. So let's have a look now what it looks like. There we go, so we're gonna comet trail following following my little boy around as he goes into the pool. And you can, you know, he, you've got all kinds of effects that you can attach to objects, uh, explosions, all kinds of things that you can do. Uh, it's really, really cool. Additionally, if you go to the 3D library over here on the right as well, you can choose from a, thousands of different um, 3D images which you can import into any one of your scenes again. And you can see the same, um, so I'm going to go for T-Rex here. And you can see that you can also attach this model to a certain point in the, um, in the scene. So if I move this effect over, and again I can move this around, and let's attach this 
to a point. So you can now see you've got a T-Rex in the scene and it's going to follow around my little boy as well. So, uh, so you can have 3D models and effects going at the same time. I can't see how you can put in more than one uh, effect, but that might be something I just can't see yet. But here's some really cool ideas for using your stylus uh, in Windows 10 in the Photos app.